Good day everyone. It is nice to see you again. Welcome to our any learning as our learning community. Lesson 4. Critical Care Nursing. Circulatory Assist Devices. Hemodynamic Monitoring. Hemodynamic monitoring is the assessment of the patient's circulatory status. It includes measurements of heart rate, intraarterial pressure, cardiac output, central venous pressure, pulmonary artery pressure, pulmonary artery wedge pressure and blood volume. The primary purpose is the early detection, identification, and treatment of life-threatening conditions, such as heart failure, cardiac tamponade, and all types of shock, septic, cardiogenic, neurogenic, anaphylactic. Cardiac output. Cardiac output is the amount, volume, of blood ejected by the left ventricle into the aorta in one minute. Normal cardiac output is 4 to 8 liter per minute. Cardiac output is determined by stroke volume and heart rate. Thus, cardiac output is equal to stroke volume times heart rate. Cardiac output must be maintained to adequately oxygenate the body. Heart rate. The number of cardiac contractions per minute. And stroke volume. The amount of blood ejected from ventricle per beat. Normal stroke volume is 50 to 100 milliliters per beat. The amount of blood returning to the heart is termed as preload. Venous tone. Resistance imposed on the ventricle before ejection is termed as afterload. And the integrity of the cardiac muscle is termed as contractility. Influence the functioning of this determinant. The body alters cardiac output through increases or decreases in one or both of these parameters. Cardiac output is maintained if the heart rate falls by an increase in stroke volume. Likewise, a decrease in stroke volume produces a compensatory rise in heart rate to keep the cardiac output normal. Cardiac output will decrease if either of the determinants cannot inversely compensate for the other. And lastly, cardiac output measurements are adjusted to patient size by calculating the cardiac index, or CI. Cardiac index equals cardiac output divided by body surface area, BSA. Body surface area is determined through standard charts, based on individual height and weight. Normal cardiac index is 2.5 to 4 liter per minute per meter squared. Have a try. Try to compute cardiac output and cardiac index. Given. Stroke volume is 80 milliliters per beat. Heart rate is 85 beats per minute and body surface area is 1.25 meter squared. Show your solution. Comment down below your answer. Assessment of cardiac output. Signs of low cardiac output include. Changes in mental status. An increase in heart rate. Shortness of breath. Cyanosis or duskiness of buccal mucosa, male beds, and earlobes. Falling blood pressure, low urine output, and cool moist skin. Central venous pressure monitoring. It refers to the measurement of right atrial pressure, or the pressure of the great veins within the thorax. Normal range. 5 to 10 cm water or 2 to 8 mm mercury. Right-sided cardiac function is assessed through the evaluation of central venous pressure. And left-sided heart function is less accurately reflected by the evaluation of central venous pressure, but may be useful in assessing chronic right and left-sided heart failure and differentiating right and left ventricular infarctions. It requires the threading of a catheter into a large central vein, subclavian internal or external jugular, median basilic, or femoral. The catheter tip is then positioned in the right atrium, upper portion of the superior vena cava, or the inferior vena cava, for femoral approach only. And the purposes of central venous pressure catheter and monitoring include, to serve as a guide for fluid replacement, to monitor pressures in the right atrium and central veins, to administer blood products, total parenteral nutrition, 
and drug therapy contraindicated for peripheral infusion. To obtain venous access when peripheral vein sites are inadequate. And lastly, to obtain central venous blood samples. Pulmonary artery pressure monitoring. Purposes are the following to monitor pressures in the right atrium, or the central venous pressure, right ventricle, pulmonary artery, and distal branches of the pulmonary artery, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. The latter reflects the level of the pressure in the left atrium, or filling pressure in the left ventricle, thus, pressures on the left side of the heart are inferred from pressure measurement obtained on the right side of the circulation and to obtain blood for central venous oxygen saturation. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, and be safe. Agyamanak.